हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रूव द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन यूजिंग द हाइजेंस प्रिंसिपल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ऑल्सो डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द डायग्राम विच इज गिवन इन द एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक हाउ टू ड्रॉ दैट और राइट सो दिस इज अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू ग्रेट ट्वेल्व वेव ऑप्टिक्स हाइजेंस प्रिंसिपल एंड प्रूविंग द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो विल बी यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेव फ्रंट एंड द अदर थिंग्स एज वेल ओवर हियर so for that i have taken a plane mirror and this is the non reflecting side or the painted side of the mirror now there are these three incident rays which are falling on the mirror and these three incident rays are parallel to one another and please make sure that don't make these rays too tilted more towards the mirror or else you won't be able to make the diagram properly right so at the end i will show you that this is not the first time i am doing i already tried 6 to 7 times and what are the failures that i let you know at the end but make sure that these three rays should not be very much tilted towards the mirror on the other hand it should not be very much perpendicular to the mirror also somewhere in between like this now we know that from this point we are supposed to draw a wave front now wave front would be a line which is perpendicular to all the rays and wave front we are drawing which we are drawing over here is an incident wave front so this line which i have drawn is an incident wave front and there are three points point a point b and point c these three points are on the wave front so they are going to behave as the second resources and i let me call this as an incident wave front iw this is an incident wave front all three points on the wave front they behave as the second resources they will start emitting spherical waves after sometime those spherical waves will reach here and bounce back and when we draw a common tangent to all the three we will get the reflected wave front and then we will draw the reflected rays please understand we are not supposed to draw the simply the normal and the reflected rays no that we are supposed to obtain it once again i am laying the emphasis that spherical waves after drawing them we need to draw a common tangent and then we will draw the reflected rays reflected rays are to be obtained not to be drawn in the beginning now it is simply just like the moment you put the stone on still water the ripples are created so in the same way spherical waves in you can imagine the ripples in three dimension as the spherical waves but at time is equal to 0 the spherical waves from here here and here are going to start because all these three points they are on wave front and as per hygen's principle they will behave as second resources and they will start emitting spherical waves so spherical waves from here here and here simultaneously come out at time is equal to 0 and the spherical wave from here will reach here in time is equal to t delta t so we are imagining that from time is equal to 0 to time is equal to delta t the light or the spherical waves anyhow those spherical waves are the waves of light so they travel with speed of light in air that is c that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second so the distance from here to here will become c delta t so we may say that the spherical waves will travel c delta t distance in time is equal to 0 to time is equal to delta t all right meanwhile this spherical wave would have reached here earlier than this because it has to travel less path and then it would have reached somewhere over here and this spherical wave is already on the mirror so it would have already bounced back and reached to somewhere over here so we are supposed to draw that right so we will be needing a compass and a pencil and since the spherical waves are in the same medium so this distance i am going to take it c delta t and the same this distance as the radius i am going to take and this point as a center and i am going to draw an arc like this now this is my spherical wave which has traveled the same distance c delta t in delta t time because these two are traveling in the same medium all right now the tricky part is how to draw the spherical wave for this one now for that i'll need a scale again and i'll be very careful over here to make a rectangle perfect rectangle like this now see i will need this distance from here to here which is less than c delta t so i'm going to take this distance which is less than c delta t and this point as the center and i'll draw the arc again 
and we are done now you may you may uh, feel that sir why we are doing this listen when the spherical waves please look at this point and this point together when the spherical waves reaches from here to here then this spherical wave will be bouncing and reaching over here meanwhile this will be reaching over here now since both of them they have same speed and same time left from here to here so this spherical wave and the spherical wave from here to here will travel same distance that is this distance and this spherical wave will travel the same distance that's why i did something like that now the trick to the perfect diagram is this point and this point i'm making a cross over here all right then this point and this point and this point so we are finally supposed to make a common tangent so please make sure that you join these three points aha so after many tries i am going to get a good diagram i'll show you the other diagrams which didn't work well now the thing is this is a common tangent which i have drawn with the black line and this is going to be my reflected wave front this one this black line all right now from here to here i am going to connect like this i am going to connect like this now these are my reflected rays now hence i am going to draw the final normal right and now we are supposed to prove that this angle is i this angle is r we are supposed to prove that both of them they are equal right but let me say one more thing okay that since this is the reflected wave front which was a tangent and this is the radius so having an angle 90 degree between them so the rays and the wave front also have an angle of 90 degree that's why this radius only behaves as the reflected ray in the same way same goes for this also now i would like to make a point please see this diagram carefully since this is also an incident ray and this pink color is also a wave front so this entire angle is also 90 degree all right and since this is i so this remaining part has to be 90 minus i okay because ray and wave front and this whole angle becomes 90 degree so this remaining angle since this is i so this is 90 minus i now again since this is normal so this whole angle is 90 degree this whole angle is 90 degree and this is 90 minus i so this is again i okay in the same way what i will do is since this was my incident ray again this would be the normal and in the same way this would be the reflected ray and of course this would be i this would be r and since this is the reflected ray and this is the reflected wave front reflected ray and reflected wave front so this angle would be 90 degree because the ray and the wave front in the same way this angle is r so this angle would be 90 minus r now this angle whole is 90 degree out of which this is 90 minus r so this becomes r all right now the diagram is becoming too tricky so i'm going to pull out these two triangles you can see that this is first triangle and this is another triangle outside all right so i'm going to do it very quickly over here so this is my incident wave front this one and this part that is c delta t is over here and this is my incident wave front all right in the same way this angle is i you can see that the angle made by the incident wave front and the mirror is i in the same way yes now this is my reflected wave front which is shown over here so this distance again would be c delta t because the time frame remains the same we have taken this as the radius and then we had drawn the arc so this distance is again c delta t and this angle is r just now we have proved it look at this angle the angle made by the reflected wave front with the mirror now 
this angle is 90 this angle is 90 please look at these two triangles which are going to be congruent how come this side this side this angle this angle all right and then this is common so in triangle we have we can we can say that this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this is c delta t this is c delta t this is common okay so these two triangles finally become congruent so if two triangles are congruent these two angles must be equal so we can prove the law of reflection the first law of reflection as angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection of course in some of the books this is the second law but that's totally fine we have proved it with the geometrical construction and since this entire figure is on single plane the incident ray the normal and the reflected ray they all are in the same plane otherwise the diagram would be something like the line going out of the paper which is not the case so that is the second law as well now i will point out that what are the mistakes that the students do see this was the first diagram that i had drawn now here these two triangles which should be like this their heads their tips should be far apart in construction it came very near to each other so this is a bad diagram and why this mistake happened because all these lines incident rays were very much tilted towards the mirrors so please do not draw the incident rays more tilted towards the mirror otherwise this problem will occur thank you for watching the video